we're very grateful for the support of the City of Lowell. We have a great partnership. I want to uh, introduce the mayor of the City of Lowell, who's a lifelong resident of the city, who currently serves as a vice president of business services uh, for John Duck Credit Union. My wife's on the board and want to make sure I got that in. Uh, but he was elected to the council in 2003, elected mayor in January of 2000. In, in 10, Jim Milanazzo has been a great supporter of the university and our collaborative relationship. Jim? Thank you, Chancellor, and, and good morning uh, to uh, David McKenzie. I want to thank you for your persistence and your due diligence that uh, gets us here uh, today. On behalf of uh, my colleagues in government, and there are a number of, uh, of you here, and I'd just like to take a minute to thank you for taking the time out of, uh, of your busy schedule to be here at, at this really historic uh, announcement. As, as um, has been already stated, it's a pleasure for me uh, to stand before you and welcome the university officials, community and business people here uh, for this uh, very significant announcement. As the Chancellor indicated, this is really a community partnership and having this building now be acquired by the university, which is in a very central location to all of their other properties, is just so key to the continuing development uh, of the university. As we've seen with the uh, Songus Arena, now the Songus Center, the Doubletree Hotel, now the Inn and Conference Center, the difference that uh, those investments have made in this community have been just incredible. And I, I'm sure that the city manager uh, will, will, will tell you that as well when he gets up and says a few words. And, and I know the city manager will also tell you how difficult it's been for the city to actually keep this building occupied over the, over the last few years. And it's just such a, 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 a significant building in the Acre neighborhood. And you can hear some from representatives of, of the Acre and just to talk about the importance the university now will play. Just when we heard the chancellor say that the, uh, the uh, university police will have a presence in this neighborhood, I think that's going to go to the quality of life in this particular uh, neighborhood, making sure that the activity here uh, now, uh, which will be so busy, will just be vibrant in, in, in this neighborhood. And as we take down uh, the buildings across the street to do the University Avenue Bridge, the, the connection is just going to be so real. So, again, it's a very exciting day, and as we go forward in this community partnership, I know the state delegation has already been kind of put on notice uh, that I'm sure the Chancellor uh, and, the, and the Building Authority will uh, be down at Beacon Hill looking for uh, needed dollars to renovate this, uh, this very important <coughs> property. But it is a proud day uh, for me to stand here as mayor and talk about how important this acquisition is and to thank the Chancellor, to thank the Building Authority, and to thank the Board of Trustees uh, from the University to having the, the foresight of the vision uh, to make sure that uh, this uh, property is put to its, its highest and best use. And I was one of those that got to raise my hand when Chancellor asked if anybody was born here, and my daughter was born here, so this is probably the second proudest moment for me in this building. <laughs> to, stand before you as, to stand before you as mayor. And, 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 and just kick off what a terrific, terrific project this will be. So it's a pleasure for me to be here and congratulate the university and the trustees and the building authority. Thank you.